William Wallace has been added to the rock battle simulator. So today we're going to take a look and see just how well he might perform against some of the most powerful meta commander pairs in rise of kingdoms. But first what's going on guys. Cheers. Now, of course, William Wallace and his brand new smite talent tree have been the talk of the community for the past couple of days, ever since he was first revealed by rise of kingdoms. And at first glance, it looks like he's going to be really powerful with all of his smite damage synergy with Liu Che. But I also posted a much longer in-depth video right after the initial reveal covering some things that people might have missed about William Wallace. And in that video, I express a couple of different concerns about his kit. So if you missed that video or my original video covering William Wallace, make sure you check those out on the channel first. And of course, if you enjoy in-depth coverage of new commanders, as soon as they come out, or even before they come out, make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video. It really helps out the channel a ton and consider subscribing to the channel. I've had a lot of you guys in the comments saying that you were almost certain that you were subscribed and it turns out that you weren't. So just double check down below that you are subscribed. Okay. So for those of you who are new here this is the rock battle simulator this is basically a battle simulator that is completely unaffiliated with rise of kingdoms if you've never seen this before it's developed by a player who goes by the name of speco if you want access to the rock battle simulator i'll link his patreon down below of course this video is not sponsored by him or by rise of kingdoms i have no affiliation with the rock battle simulator project it's just a very useful tool that has gotten even better over the years and it's been really helpful for players to decide if they want to invest in a commander or not so the first thing we have to go over before we go into the test results is sort of the parameters with which I'm testing William Wallace. And also there's obviously a big elephant in the room. And that is how do we know what the smite talent tree provides, right? Like we don't actually have all of the smite talents in the game. And that's a very good point, which is why in this video, about 85% of the test results that I got, I used William Wallace as the secondary, because that to me seems like the most accurate way to test right now until we actually know what the smite talent tree is going to be however the creator of the rock battle simulator has actually implemented a temporary smite talent tree and it basically just mirrors the stats that you would get from the skill tree except it's more focused on smite damage now of course we do know four of the smite talents in the game however we don't know exactly how they're going to work for example we have the text from the developers on the initial reveal of these talents but we don't know if that text is exactly how they work or if for example if there is a built-in cooldown or if those talents apply to multiple targets or just one target there's a lot of things about those talents that even though we know the text we don't know all the details but as you can see in the bottom left corner this is what the smite talent tree currently provides in the simulator before we know what it actually does you get two and a half percent attack three percent defense and three percent health i believe that's exactly what you get from a full investment in the skill tree you get one and a half percent extra normal attack damage you get three percent extra smite damage which is the same thing as the three percent skill damage you would get from the skill tree and you get nine rage per basic attack which is again the same thing as the skill tree so again this is not official this is basically just the developer of the sim kind of guesstimating what a reasonable smite talent tree might look like and then also adds in all the talents that we have down here now i also want to point out that lots of you have reached out to vip support asking about fight or flight and that was the talent that removes 45 rage from a target that's hit with smite damage and it looks like vip support is saying that there is no cooldown on that talent so in other words you can hit a player back to back to back with smite damage and constantly remove that 45 rage i personally would be willing to bet that vip support is wrong here when it comes to commanders and content that is not actually in the live game yet i would say vip support has a very uh well not a great track record for being accurate with these things sometimes they're right sometimes they're wrong uh, it's at no fault to their own i mean it's literally not in the game yet so yeah make with that information what you will but i personally think that they're probably not right with this one it just seems that would just be too broken to me but i mean hey it is what it is okay now that we've covered the temporary smite tree let me talk about what i'm actually testing here this is obviously 1v1 duels in the rock battle simulator as you can see here both sides have 230,000 troops they both get 15 percent attack and defense this is what i assume to be from armaments as well as eight percent health from armaments and then for the infantry the smite infantry i gave them france with another five percent health city skin and no bonus skill damage if they're going up against a skill damage commander pairing like nevsky joan or like guan cpo then i put the ottoman empire with eight percent health from armaments and five percent for the city skin twilight falls then we have a 10 percent defense buff on both pairs we have six iconic stats for attack and defense 
defense and 12 for health that is on both sides so that's assuming no special talents across the board but a plain vanilla legendary set on both sides with best and slot for each thing you can debate archers I just use the full archer set just to keep it simple and then of course we have max crystal tech here with attack and all damage for both sides max VIP all that stuff and again pretty much all the infantry testing on the left side with William Wallace was done with France in mind because again there's no skill damage here so there's no point in doing Ottoman France is probably your best bet for open field fighting in that scenario and finally as you can see here I put a horn and ring on both sides because I do think that you know for smite damage that might not be the best possible thing like we've already made an entire video talking about Liu Che and why his expertise makes it so that way he doesn't really need the horn but I wanted to keep the accessories the same on both sides so I just kept it simple a lot of people if you've invested in the pendant maybe you'll use that for smite damage instead if you have you know the concealed dagger then you might want to put that instead of the horn of fury as well so again this is kind of just a very bare bones test to keep pretty much both sides as close to identical as possible that's the best part about the rock battle simulator anyway with all that out of the way let's jump into the battle reports and as you can see we did six battles for these 1v1 duels and the first thing that we tested was Liu Che primary with William Wallace secondary and like I said before we're going to be using William Wallace as the secondary for about 85 percent of these tests because that just seems to be probably more accurate until we know exactly what the smite tree is but I did want to test with the proposed smite tree just to get an idea as to how good that might be okay and I'll cover that at the end and you definitely want to stay till then because if the smite tree is as speco has implemented it that will be a game changer so definitely stay tuned till later but first we're going to start with the things that we know for sure which is the attack tree on Liu Che and if you're curious as to what tree I did use that's the tree that I used for this for the simulator here anytime that you see Liu Che primary that is what we used and of course like I do with all these pre-release videos I compare against Nevsky Joan first because Nevsky Nevsky Joan has been in the game for a long time it's tried and true everyone kind of has it at this point and it's just very good now it's worth noting that we have infantry countering cavalry so hopefully we'll see a good performance from Liu Che William Wallace and the first report goes to them for sure 55k remaining for the infantry second report is almost identical 55k left for the infantry third report 73k left for the infantry fourth report 43k left fifth report 43k left and the final report 33k left so a 6-0 victory clear win for Liu Che William Wallace and this is very expected as I said before because this is infantry countering cavalry and Nevsky Joan is really not meant to be a dueling pair however um it is worth noting that like I mean both of these pairs have a single target commander and an AoE commander I honestly think Liu Che William would be even better in an AoE scenario than Nevsky Joan because Joan only hits three targets whereas Liu Che hits five although she fires twice every other skill cycle so it is what it is but regardless I think this is a pretty fair duel and Liu Che William Wallace comes out ahead very clearly in every single report next I tested Liu Che William Wallace up against Huo Joan and as you guys know Huo hits a little bit harder than Nevsky but he doesn't have that debuff and his stats aren't as well distributed but there are a lot of them I, I always have to point this out with Huo people forget that he has 40 percent attack 35 percent defense and there's a ton of health in the cavalry equipment and so you actually have a very nice distribution of stats with Huo and as you can see here the Liu Che William Wallace actually wins but with 20k remaining and that is worse than every performance against Nevsky Jones so let's move on to the second report 43k remaining for the infantry third report a victory for Huo Joan 25k remaining that's a pretty clear victory in my book the fourth report 52k remaining for the infantry and fifth report 35k remaining and sixth report 25k remaining for the Liu Che William Wallace so we obviously had that one outlier report where the cavalry did win but five out of the six was taken by the Liu Che William Wallace so Huo Joan performed slightly better I would say than the Nevsky Joan in the 1v1 duel department which is obvious why because Huo is great at dueling but still five to one the infantry wins here and that is to be expected then we tested against Huo Belisarius and I've mentioned in in the past that Huo Belisarius is probably one of the best dueling marches in the game and especially because if you're swarming down a target the expertise on Belisarius is excellent and here you can see that in my book is a tie that's a tie sorry there's a thousand left here for the infantry but that's pretty much a tie second report the Huo Belly actually wins here 15k remaining third report we have almost 10k remaining for the Huo Belly another victory for the Cavs although barely fourth report another victory for the Huo Belisarius with 18k remaining fifth report we have a very 
very clear victory for the infantry with 30k remaining and sixth report another very clear infantry win with 38k remaining so all in all we have a single tie three victories for the cavalry and two victories for the infantry now it's worth noting that the victories for the infantry were by a much larger margin than the victories for the cavalry and so maybe there's a little bit of outliers going on there i'm not really sure that is something that you run into when you're running things with rng like the horn and like the ring so keep that in mind but it is worth noting that the best infantry commander paired with the newest infantry commander is losing against a troop type that it should be countering now again huo belly is probably the best dueling march in the game right now if i'm not mistaken i'm trying to think of something better that's probably the best one so yeah i mean that's at least worth noting there's aoe here on liu che that is not being accurately represented but i don't know guys i feel like uh i feel like liu che william should probably be winning more often here next up just for good measure we did huo william because this is a very common pairing that people use and we see a very clear victory for the infantry 72k remaining next report we have 48k remaining for infantry 66k remaining for infantry 43k remaining for infantry and as you can see here the final two reports in the 60,000s remaining for infantry so very obviously a powerful win here for infantry the huo william is not as good at dueling as the huo belisarius but the William does have the AOE and is much more supportive than Belisarius in general. Although that belly does have the swarming benefit there, but all in all, Huo William is 6-0 clapped by Liu Che William Wallace. And that is not that surprising these days. Next, I did some testing against Liu Che Alex. And this also, as you can see here, uses the same talent tree. It uses the same equipment, same civilization, same stat bonuses and everything like that. And of course this is using the museum relic buff for Alexander the Great. And I wanted to test this because because I think that Alexander the Great is the number one most likely thing to be replaced for infantry right now based on the fact that William Wallace is smite damage and so you would want to pair him with Liu Che and who are people pairing with Liu Che right now usually it's Alex or CPO Prime and between those two commanders I would say CPO is probably a little bit better even though I love the instant proc and march speed on Alex with that being said 54k remaining for the William Wallace here second report 78k remaining third report 44k remaining fourth report 72k remaining for the William Wallace fifth report 51k and sixth report 67k remaining for the William Wallace so a 6-0 sweep for the Liu Che William Wallace it is definitely performing better than the Alexander the Great in the 1v1 duels now I've mentioned in the past that Alexander the Great in these very you know closed system controlled scenarios Alex does not perform very well in 1v1s and in these scenarios where both of them do get shields I mean like it, there's just no comparing here I think the value of Alexander the Great cannot be shown in a in a test like this so it's not that surprising that this March gets clapped here because it performs much better in reality than it does in the simulator I mean that just goes to show William Wallace with the 6-0 victory next up we did Liu Che William Wallace against CPO Liu Che which is probably the most popular single infantry pair in the game right now and you could see 42k remaining left for the William Wallace second report 62k remaining third report 72k remaining fourth report 71k remaining fifth report 78k remaining and sixth report 48k remaining now you can see over here the talent build we use for CPO again we're using France we're not giving any skill damage bonuses here we're giving everything bonuses to health because there's I mean yes there's skill damage on CPO but you're not really optimizing for that also same equipment down here it's worth noting so again we have a 6-0 victory for Liu Che William Wallace which is very impressive stuff CPO Liu Che is a great pairing and I mean this is a double AOE so it is worth noting that like there is a lot of value here that is lost that AOE health reduction on CPO is very powerful and so you're going to be getting a lot more benefit out of this army than is shown in a 1v1 duel so keep that in mind but lower infantry health on the Liu Che William Wallace and yet it is still coming out ahead here next we did Liu Che William Wallace against Gorgo Liu Che because I think a lot of people do use that in the field as well and as you can see off to the right once again this is the talent build same equipment same France civilization everything else is the same and you can see the first report we have 60k remaining for the Liu Che William Wallace second report 75k remaining third report 87k remaining fourth report 78k remaining fifth report 59k remaining and sixth report almost 78k remaining so another six so sweep for Liu Che William Wallace very impressive stuff here and this is what I mentioned in my previous video where I said that William Wallace in the field is just going to be a better Gorgo that's kind of what I've expected um Gorgo performs decent in the field I would actually say she performs really well in the field to be honest with you guys especially for a garrison defense tree commander but William Wallace just has a better stat distribution and all in all he's just built for the field all of his skills work in the field whereas that is not the case for Gorgo and he also is supportive with giving shields and things like that although Gorgo has some interesting stuff 
stuff on her expertise as well but all in all a 6-0 sweep for the William Wallace if you've been running Gorgo Liuche in the field you're probably going to bench the Gorgo for the William Wallace he's probably just going to be better in all regards next we went up against some archers and this is going to come as no surprise but Yuge Leong Herman counters infantry and so it is not going to come as a surprise to you guys that William Wallace does not perform well here because really no infantry does and as you can see we use Ottoman we use the full six piece set for archers and the full skill tree which is what most people would be using here anyway Juge Leong with Herman 70k remaining for the first report 71k remaining for the second report 65k for the third 77k for the fourth 63k for the fifth and 64k for the sixth so a 6-0 sweep for the Juge Leong Herman again not surprising here and in practice this will also perform even better in real life because they have a double AoE here whereas there's only a single AoE here and there's lots of supportive things about Herman Prime with his poison stacks so all in all like the Juge Leong Herman is just sweeping the floor with Liu William Wallace and will be even better in reality so again not surprising to me whatsoever but I wanted to see if Liu William Wallace could at least defeat sort of the second tier of Archer March and that would be something along the lines of Boudicca with YSG we do have other tests as well for archers so don't worry about that I just wanted to see if YSG could really hang with the big boys these days and as it turns out we have 26k remaining for the Liu William Wallace and I want to point out here that Boudicca Prime is very good in duels and yet she's still losing here even with her healing factor and the fact that she has the 50% skill bonus from Isongye's fourth skill and his museum relic. There's a lot to love about this pairing still, and it is actually losing to William Wallace with Liu Che. So let's look at the second report. We have, oh, okay, 8K remaining. That's almost a tie here, guys. Almost a tie. I'm going to give it to the Liu Che William Wallace because there is more Sev Wounds on the Archer side, but not looking great here. Third report, almost 20K remaining, 19K remaining for the William Wallace. Fourth report, we have 13K remaining. Fifth report, we have a victory for the Boudicca YSG a little bit of RNG there 29k remaining and sixth report we have 15k remaining for the William Wallace so a five to one win here for the Liu Che William Wallace one of those reports was pretty close but definitely a five one win here so okay Liu Che with William Wallace is beating some of the slightly off meta pairings for archers which is good to know at least it's not getting melted by you know last year's archer meta okay that is good to see however once we bench the YSG for an expertise to Asher Bonapal, things do change a little bit Boudicca Ashurbanipal winning with 63k remaining second report they win again 46k remaining third report they win again 75k remaining for the Boudicca Ashurbanipal fourth report 69k remaining nice fifth report 74k remaining and sixth report we have 67k remaining for the archers here so Boudicca Ashurbanipal not the best archer pairing in the game still very good but not the best and even this archer pairing is 6-0 sweeping the Liu Che William Wallace so it doesn't require archer meta to defeat Liu Che William Wallace unfortunately for the infantry here that is not great next I wanted to go ahead and see how Liu Che William Wallace would compare against Guan Yu CPO because Guan CPO is tried and true lots of people still use it I used it in my last KBK as well and I think some people are wondering like is it time to bench Guan Yu so let's see how he performs against Liu Che William Wallace and as you can see we're using the Ottoman civilization full skill tree down here same equipment set on both sides and the Guan CPO gets absolutely destroyed 99k remaining for the Liu Che William Wallace second report 89k remaining for William Wallace third report 85k fourth report 78k fifth report 93k and sixth report 97k so the Guan CPO is the worst performing March so far in the entire video and that is not that surprising but it is worth noting that it is a double AoE pairing the silence on Guan is very good and so there's a lot that is not being represented here with the Guan CPO pairing but but it's worth noting that the William Wallace 6-0 sweeps it and so Guan Yu CPO is definitely feeling a little bit old at this point next I switched things up a little bit we did a CPO prime primary with William Wallace secondary again we used the French civilization and this was the talent build for CPO you could see off on the right there we have Ottoman Empire for the Nevsky Joan with the full skill tree and the first battle report is a loss for the CPO William Wallace the Nevsky Joan wins with 11k remaining CPO William takes the second report 13k remaining third report William Wallace wins again 13k remaining fourth report 18k remaining fifth report that's a tie slightly more sev wounds on the CPO William Wallace side which is crazy and sixth report is going to the Nevsky Joan so we have two wins for Nevsky Joan three wins for the CPO William Wallace and one Hi, that is a not a good performance here from the William Wallace secondary behind the CPO so it really makes you wonder is it worth if you're gonna run Liu Che Alex or Liu Che with Gorgo if you're going to run that as a pair 
is it worth benching the guan to put the william wallace with the cpo and based on this report it's looking like probably not i mean i mean i don't know guys we'll have to see i mean the infantry should be clearly countering the calves here and to go three to two to them is just not it's not a great look so yeah don't love it and again cpo is not great for duels but neither is joan so it's like kind of an even playing field there and also like france has a special unit like ah, i don't know guys not loving the duel results here so far next up we did cpo with william wallace against liuche alex and this is an interesting pairing because liuche hits a little bit harder than cpo but william wallace is going to hit harder than alex and so i wanted to see how this would go from a trade perspective and 65k remaining for the cpo william which is nice second report 53k remaining for the William Wallace third report 53k remaining for William Wallace fourth report 62k remaining fifth report 60k remaining and sixth report we have 33k remaining for the CPO William Wallace so a 6-0 sweep for the CPO William Wallace which is again just goes to show that Liu Che Alex the real power in this March is not shown in the battle simulator because in real life you're going in and out of battles quickly and you're getting that instant proc from Alex and there's just a lot to love about this pairing that just isn't being reflected in the simulator as you guys know Liu Che Alex was my best performing March in my last KVK and so it's really interesting to note how it just doesn't perform that well in one v1 simulators like this but cpo william wallace does clean 6-0 sweep now there was no point in testing cpo william wallace against archers because i mean the best pairing so far has been liu che william wallace and so if that can't beat any archers besides Boudica YSG then you know we know that the weaker pairing is not going to beat it either and here we have Gorgo William Wallace I was just curious to see like how would this perform up against some of the meta armies here and if you guys are curious of course we're using the France civilization that is the talent tree that we used for Gorgo earlier so it's the same we use here going up against a full skill tree for the archers with the Ottoman Empire and you can see 108k left for the uh archers clear victory for the Juge Leong Herman here second report 103k remaining third report 98k remaining fourth Fourth report 106k fifth report 100k sixth report 108k like this is a clear victory for archers so the gorgo william wallace is not tanky i mentioned this in my previous video where i expressed some concerns with william wallace and when you pair these two together you're getting 70 percent of infantry attack or sorry 70 or 60 percent i think it's 70 percent and only 10 percent health there's really nothing tanky about this army unfortunately it's just a little bit squishy and so in the 1v1 duels it doesn't do much it doesn't have any debuffs it doesn't have any aoe you would think that it would shine in the 1v1s but here it just doesn't of course it's worth noting archers counter it but still then i was curious okay could gorgo william wallace perform well against huo belisarius because it would counter this and 70k remaining for the huo 64k remaining for the cavalry on the second report 27k remaining for the calves on the third report 63k remaining for the calves on the fourth report 53k remaining for the calves and 73k remaining for the calves on the sixth and fifth reports so we've got the uh, best cab dueling march is again crushing the gorgo william wallace and yeah gorgo william wallace probably not the play probably not the play that's just i'm gonna call it now probably not okay now i tested william wallace as the primary and again this uses the temporary smite tree stats that was improvised by the developer of the rock battle simulator speco i think it's probably close to how it's going to be in the game but it's not official so we don't know for sure but if the smite talent tree performs as it is implemented and shown in the initial reveal for william wallace then things get pretty spicy okay william wallace liu che is defeating huo belisarius which as you remember throughout this video is the best dueling march okay 69k remaining nice for the william wallace Wallace, Liu Che second report 70k remaining third report 64k remaining fourth report 50k remaining fifth report 64k remaining and sixth report 53k remaining so a complete game changer okay complete game changer William Wallace as the primary with the improvised temporary smite tree is absolutely giga chat okay it is absolutely busted and I'm really interested to see how good this talent tree is actually going to be when William Wallace comes into the game of course I had to test it against the Juge young Herman because that was the best performing March in the entire test result and that is basically a tie you guys I mean 2k remaining for the Julie young Herman but the seven wounds are about the same pretty much a tie for the first result second result 57k remaining for the archers third result 49k remaining for the archers fourth result 40k remaining for the archers fifth result 
32k remaining for the archers and sixth result 53k remaining so five wins for the archers and a single tie that is still a clear victory for the julia leong Harmon. however it's worth noting that this does perform much better than the liu che william wallace in the reverse order right so the smite tree could be the secret sauce to william wallace and so we will definitely have to see how that performs in game when we get the real smite talent tree it's worth noting that it could be worse than he has implemented into the simulator but on the same note it could be even better right i mean one of the talents that he put here was one and a half percent normal attack it could be even more than that guys so it, we have no idea until this actually comes into the game but of course i did want to do one last test with william wallace primary liu che secondary and we go up against the ottoman empire full skill tree Boudica ashurbanipal this is again sort of meta adjacent um, if you're running multiple archer armies you're probably running this most likely and so i wanted to see how the william wallace primary would perform here 18k or remaining for the archers second report we have a victory for the infantry 18k remaining third report 14k remaining for the william wallace fourth report this is basically a tie although there's definitely more sev wounds for the archers so i'm going to give this to the william wallace here fifth report a tie again pretty much this one you know i'm calling this one a tie sorry the the sev wounds are close that's basically a tie and sixth report we have a clear victory for the william wallace so it looks like we had one victory for the archers one tie and then four wins for the William Wallace. So once again, we see an improvement with the William Wallace as the primary, which a lot of people were expecting it to be the other way around. A lot of people are saying that Liu Che should be the primary because of the third skill on William Wallace, giving that uh, AOE on Liu Che a 40% damage bonus. And again, in an actual real game testing scenario, that AOE probably will move the meter a ton, but it's worth noting that in these duels, at least the William Wallace with the improvised talent tree is performing the best okay so now that we've gone through all 18 simulation scenarios what are the things that we can conclude from the test results for william wallace and first of all i just want to say that once again we don't know exactly how the smite tree is going to work we can't take vip supports word for it we can't even take the official reveal of the talents at their word because we don't know if there's cooldowns or anything like that so there's a lot that we don't know about the smite tree however okay if the smite tree is basically just the smite version of the skill tree right then what i'm going to suggest is that william wallace primary liu che secondary is probably the play again it's really going to come down to how that smite tree performs in the open field if it doesn't perform super well then you'll probably flip those with liu che primary william wallace secondary so that way you get the benefit of the third skill on william wallace for the more powerful aoe on Liu Che, but no matter how you cut it, it's most likely going to be the case that if you're running William Wallace, you're running him with Liu Che. There's really no way around that based on these test results. Again, we'll have to see real world testing before we make any real conclusions here, but I would be willing to bet that if you get William Wallace and you max him out, you're probably going to be using him with Liu Che. That's just the best pairing. The stat distribution on Gorgo is not really great for open field fighting for William Wallace, at least at first glance and on paper. And same thing with the CPU there's really not that much synergy there uh, besides the fact that the stat distribution is nice the march speed is nice they do both have shields maybe there's something there i think that's probably your second best pairing right i think best is william wallace liu che in some form or fashion second best is probably going to be cpo prime primary with william wallace secondary and that's just strictly because the smite tree just has really no synergy with uh cpo prime at all whereas the support tree on cpo does have some synergy at least with william wallace as a secondary so the most likely pairs are going to be of course william wallace with liu che and then cpo with william wallace now the real question is are you going to you know right now if you're running liu che cpo are you going to bench cpo for william wallace right and guys i don't know i mean based on these results i really just don't know he doesn't have a debuff and he doesn't have aoe and both of those things we do see on cpo prime and so if you're running a single infantry army you might actually not need william wallace i mean that's just the reality he doesn't have a blowout victory against the archers he doesn't even have a blowout victory against some of the calves right i mean yes he destroyed the huo william but he loses to the huo belisarius and 
he didn't even have a super good performance against the Huo Joan, which isn't even like a super great dueling March to begin with. So is he a must have for people running one infantry army? Probably not. And if you're running two infantry armies, I think it really comes down to the smite tree. If the smite tree is broken, if it's as good as the skill tree for smite commanders, then you probably will be running William Wallace. If you're running more than one infantry army, I mean, who knows? Maybe the smite tree is so broken that it is worth replacing your CPO prime because it's just going to activate so much and unlock so much potential for, for Liu Che secondary who really knows, right? This is a lot of speculation, but after all is said and done, my conclusion is that William Wallace seems like the infantry version of who, I mean, he has a really high vanilla single target damage factor. It's pretty much always going to be 2,700. It could be as high as 3,300 if you're being swarmed, but the stats on him don't really beg to be swarmed, right? I mean, there are some commanders, like if you look at Charles Martel, for example, or like, you know, Pakal Herald, for example, those commanders sort of beg to be swarmed because you trade positive most of the time. Whereas in this case, I don't think William Wallace is begging to be swarmed. I, I just, he doesn't seem like he's built for that. So to me, he seems like the infantry version of Huo, wherein you would definitely want him as a second infantry March, but he's not a must have to be able running a single infantry March. That is a very loose early guess based on these reports to be very clear i am less confident in these reports than i am in the reports for belisarius prime that we did before he came out and previous commanders in that same niche strictly because we just don't know how his talent build is going to perform and that is you know that just adds a whole bunch of mystery to his actual test results so my final thoughts if you thought william wallace was going to break the game if you thought that he was going to disrupt the meta then i am here to let you know that the meta is probably fine i think william wallace is a very solid commander and people that are using more than one infantry march are really going to like him but i don't think he's going to break the meta i don't think that this completely throws things out of whack and this just goes to show and this is what i've been saying for so long is that cavalry still perform well and I, I, it blows my mind that Cavs have mains act like it is the end of the world that Belisarius Prime doesn't just completely dominate the world. Okay. Cavs have been dominant open field for a long time. And as you can see by these results, they still perform pretty well in scenarios where they're not even supposed to be performing well. Okay. So I would say this is a very balanced commander released again, based on pre-release stuff we have to see in real world testing, but it seems to be the case that William Wallace is a pretty measured and balanced implementation. He seems like infantry's huo. He seems like some you're going to want if you're an infantry main but he doesn't seem like he's going to break the game he doesn't seem like he's going to shift the meta an insane amount and really we don't even know if he's a must-have for a single infantry march right it still could be liu che alex or liu che cpo we really have to wait and see how that smite tree plays out because that is the biggest variable here that could completely make everything in this video irrelevant if the smite tree is broken then everything in this video basically goes out the window because we used him as the secondary for most of the video so keep that in mind if the smite tree is broken william Wallace might be broken, but otherwise I think he's a completely average, decent entrant to the meta. He will be used quite a bit, but he doesn't ruin the game. Okay. Anyway, guys, with all that being said, I want to know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think that this was a fair pre-release test, or do you think that this is completely irrelevant until he actually comes into the game? This is the best that we're going to get until he's actually in the game. So keep that in mind. This is all pre-release stuff. I'm excited to see what you guys think in the comment section below. And while you're down there, drop a thumbs up on the video. It really helps out the channel. It kind of helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm. So the rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel a lot of you think you're subscribed but you're actually not so go ahead and subscribe to the channel click the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace